Hi everybody, I'm Ali Tawakuli and this is part 11 of our UML video series. In this part, we want to talk about composite structure. So, if you're ready, let's get started. Composite structure models how objects work together inside a class. It mainly shows the internal structure of a class. Sometimes, the primary UML diagrams don't capture some certain aspects of your system. That's what composite structure is going to do. So here is an example of a composite structure. In here we have shown collaborations as you have seen uh, the collaboration notation in the part one is like this. And in this example, uh, we have uh, the composite structure of the classroom class. And we have shown its parts. These two are parts, and this is the property with the dashed line. And uh, this is the equivalent class diagram version of it. Here is our classroom class and uh, its related classes. So, first, let's see for whom it is. I mean, the composite structure, system designers and developers. Purpose? Describe the internal structure of a class, show design patterns in your system, and how objects cooperate to achieve a goal. Important elements. Part. Object which is used in a class. Property. It's an outside data that the class has, so the data of the property for different instances of a class is the same. But data of the parts of them may be different. For example, different instances of the conversation class may have different summary values, but all of them share one theme with the same exact value. So, although different instances of the conversation class may have different values for the summary variable, but all of them share one theme. And that's it. All right? Singular instance. It's a specific constant which is shared across the whole instances of a class. For example, application name can be a constant which is always the same and there is only one single instance of it available in all conversation instances. What is port? Connects our classes to other outside classes and interfaces because, as we know, a class can also have some provided or required interfaces. Both actually show distinct uses of a class. And we have actually also uh, mentioned the port and explained it in details in the uh, component diagrams. So, the, again, here it means the same. Collaboration shows how objects are going to work together to accomplish a task. It actually shows us what objects are involved to do a specific task, and that task can also be temporary. Objects that are involved in a collaboration actually have some temporary rules, so yes. Another collaboration which is going to demonstrate another task may use the very same objects that are mentioned in an older collaboration in new rules and related to each other differently to do the new task. For example, to do a show a list of conversations task, conversations holder and conversation instances collaborate together. And to do another task, then maybe again these two instances collaborate together, but this time differently. So that's actually what a collaboration means. And points to consider, when drawing a part in the class, we also write the number of instances, multiplicity on it. Uh, for example, conversation class may have many message instances, but only has one summary instance initialized in it. And that's it. We have actually uh, mentioned multiplicity in different uh, uh, lessons in our series too. Steps to draw the composite structure. The first step is that I uh, draw the composite structure of different classes and then draw collaborations for different tasks. Easy. Now let's go all the way up here and take a look at the teach collaboration. We can actually show collaborations in two ways. In this way 
and or in this way. So for the teaching collaboration, these three classes collaborate together so that the teaching process can be accomplished. Teacher, class, and student. So this is a simple collaboration notation and we can also show collaborations in more details like this one that we have also mentioned the important operation and attributes of the classes that are taking part in the teaching collaboration. Here we're saying that the teach method of the teacher class is important and here we're saying that the teacher and students attributes of the classroom uh, are important and we have also mentioned their multiplicity and here we're saying that the learn method of the student class is important in the teach collaboration. So that's all there is to the collaborations. Let's take a look at our next example. So here is the composite structure of our classroom class. Our goal here is to show its internal structure and it has uh, two important parts, this one and this one. And by parts, we mean actually uh, attributes. So the classroom class has two important attributes, so walls and chairs. And in the composite structure, we call the name of the attribute role and its type class and we also mentioned the multiplicity of these two attributes or let me say parts so a classroom can have from 1 to 20 chairs and must have four walls and our classroom also has a property named air conditioner which is type is air conditioner and it has only one of it and here is the class in the is the equivalent class diagram uh, of the classroom class. Here are the chair and wall classes that are uh, related to the classroom class. And here uh, are we are mentioning actually the rule. I mean the name of the attributes uh, of the classroom class. And. Uh, we're also showing its relationship with the air conditioner class, which they have a one-to-one -one relationship. So that's all there is to the composite structure. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to be notified of our upcoming tutorials. So uh, that's it. And we will see you in the next part of our human tutorial series. See you there.